Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn to solve definite integrals with an unknown in the limits. So I am going to start with an exam style question over here. Given that integration from 2 to m, you can see the upper limit is unknown here. 4 over root x dx is equal to 5. Calculate the value of m. This is for 4 marks. So we have to evaluate the left hand side and equate it equal to the right hand side which is 5. So let us start integrating the left hand side. So let me write it as integration from 2 to m and I am going to change the denominator from a square root to a fractional power so it becomes x to the power of half dx. I am not going to take the right hand side at present I am going to just solve the left hand side. Next step I am going to take the x to the numerator so the limits will be the same and 4 x to the power of negative half. When we pull the x from the denominator to the numerator its power changes the sign so positive becomes negative and here if it was negative it was going to be positive when I was going to pull it in the numerator. So here it is 4x to the power of negative half dx. Next I am going to just start integrating whatever is being given. 4 is a constant so we can pull it out from the integration and only the x gets integrated and here the power needs to be increased by 1. So this becomes negative half plus 1, negative half plus 1. And since it is a definite integral because lower limit and upper limit is given, let me just write them again after removing the integration sign. Next, further solving this we get 4 x to the power of half over negative 1 over 2 plus 1 is again 1 over 2. Then writing the limits. So here we are going to divide the numbers 4 divided by 1 over 2 gives you 8 and x stays the same with the limits around it that is from 2 till m. The next thing we need to do is we need to substitute the upper limit and the lower limit in this place of x. So we are going to write it as 8 put a bracket now in place of x first put the upper limit so m to the power of half minus now put 2 in the place of x 2 to the power of half so it's always upper limit minus the lower limit hence the minus sign so this is equated equal to in the question given as 5 so now we'll take the right hand side in this solved equation so now let us just open up the brackets it becomes 8 this is m to the power of half let me keep it the same way minus 8 gets multiplied with 2 to the power of half so it becomes 8 root 2 because 2 to the power of half is square root of 2 is equal to 5 so finally we have it as 8 m to the power of half is equal to 5 plus 8 root 2 so m to the power of half becomes 5 plus 8 root 2 divided by 8 so let us see how much we get on a calculator so it is 5 plus 8 square root of 2 divided by 8 so it shows as the same answer so to get it as a decimal you can click on st it shows you 2.039 so we have it here as 2.039. So this is m to the power of half. Now the next thing I am going to do is I am going to square on both the sides to get rid of this fractional power. So let me write this answer again. Hence I will just square on this side and I am going to square on this side as well. So here the 2 and 2 gets divided. 
so we are left with m is equal to now 2.039 is getting squared so let us see what we get the answer so answer squared is 4.158 or you can round it off and write it as 4.16 to three significant figures so this is the value of m so this is how we find the unknown limits of a given example hope you have liked the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching